What is up everyone? Welcome back to our lawn and today if you can tell we're talking about snow removal. Now snow removal is not complicated. It's not something overly complex, but I believe I have developed some processes that make it as easy and as painless as possible. So first we have a fair bit of snow right now. So I'm going to start by with the, with the snow blower. So a couple things that you're going to want to do first to make your life easier is this little bit of snow down here, right at the entry to my garage. I need to move that out of the way with a shovel so that I can easily maneuver my snow blower at the top of the driveway, get myself turned around, heading back the other way. The other thing is, the really only thing is how you're going to go about a route for snow blowing, and I really only consider wind. Because the single worst thing about snow blowing is blowing snow into the wind and having all of it come back and just blanket your face. It's miserable, it's cold, it feels awful, it starts to melt, runs down your back, runs down your chest, it's terrible. So I will completely dictate my path by wind. So if it's from left to right, right to left, I will make my way across the driveway that way. And I wanna make sure that I'm never throwing snow back to where I've already blown snow from. Because regardless of how well your snowblower does of throwing snow long distance, it's going to drop some where you've already blown snow away from and you're gonna to have to just clear it again. And you don't wanna do work twice, so make sure you're never blowing towards the direction of where you've already blown from. So you don't work all the way from right to left or left to right. In a world where wind isn't an issue, I'll show you real quick my process for how I typically go about it, which is gonna be a path down the middle, and then just come back and forth down the middle, over, back, over, back. So I'm just always blowing snow out to the edge of the driveway, starting in the middle, and then blowing out in both directions, and I'll show you that here in a second. And then, it's still snowing, so we'll probably have a little dusting here later in the day. I'm gonna talk about the easiest way to go about shoveling your driveway so that you're doing as little amount of work as possible and getting it done as quickly, getting back inside, getting out of the cold, or getting right to what's the fun of snow, which is playing in it with your kids. Or, or by yourself, if an adult, who doesn't love sledding? So, let's get to it, let's blow some snow. Quick note, the wind kind of wasn't what I thought it was, so down at the end you could maybe see me getting snow blown back in my face. So I think if given an option to do it again, I would have worked from my left side of my driveway over to the right and just gone all the way across that way, going with the wind. Um, now we're gonna get into the turnaround section here. So I'm just going to blow everything straight out and the wind is from my right to my left. So I'm gonna work my way from right to left, shoot the snow way up high and just let the wind carry it out, of, out and away from myself and my driveway. All right, so that's snow blowing done. Now I'm actually, it looks like some of the snow that's coming down is melting, so I'm gonna try to get it clean right now and hopefully anything left that falls will melt. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to shovel. Now conceptually, it'll be different for, your, for any driveway, but since you're using your own manual labor, you wanna make sure that you move any area of snow as little as possible, the shortest distance as possible to get it off your driveway. So typically that's going to mean you're gonna start with a line down the middle of your driveway and then push everything out to the side. So I'll show you that. And then you kind of just have to figure out, okay, where, where am I best served pushing snow? That's going to be the least amount of effort to me. It's also going to save you time. So I'll show you kind of how I go about doing it. It's, uh, you kind of just two-step your way down the yard. Down the yard. See, it's habits. Two-step your way down the driveway, and then uh, that's about it. You can get away with doing it this way up to maybe three, four inches of snow if it's, a, if it's light. Anything more than that, you're going to start to struggle. The other thing. Don't buy one of those little bendy ergonomic shovels because you're like, oh, this is great. It's gonna be, you know, it's, it's gonna be good for my back. They're trash. They, you want shovels, especially if you have a snowblower, you're never gonna shovel when you need a scooping type shovel. You're just never gonna do it because if you do, you're gonna snowblow. Get something as wide as you can buy that's kind of propped up, tilted, designed to push because that's all we're doing. We're just pushing snow out to the edges of the driveway and just a quick lift it up into the up off the driveway. So let me show you that real quick and then we'll get to shoveling. 
So like I said, it's a two-step. Whether you're left hand, I do this with my left hand, I'm almost physically incapable of doing it with my right hand. Um, but you're gonna set yourself up kind of square to the direction you're going. Shovel down or push in that way. And you're just gonna step push, bring the shovel back, push. And it's just walking all the way down your driveway. So we'll get you a time lapse of that now. And there you go, that's really it. With snow blowing, just make sure you're working with the wind. Don't ever blow back into the wind. You're gonna have a bad time. Don't blow snow back over where you've already snow blown. With shoveling, find the shortest distances to get the snow off your driveway and just two-step your way to victory. So I hope that's helpful. I know for a lot of people that click on this video, these are gonna be intuitive or obvious or whatever, but honestly, the most useful information that I've ever received, advice I've ever gotten from other people they thought was really obvious. So I hope it's helpful to for a couple people. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, follow along for the lawn care content here coming up in 2021. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. But I want to give you now. But anyway, where you've already blowed, where you've already blew, blew blown, <laughs>